Vetter is a specialist stone contractor operating in Britain. They provide all aspects of stonework, from design, supply and installation, to landscaping and restoration. The company has and continues to work with major clients, producing innovative and award-winning work. I wanted to find out more, and Christine Ellis, Assistant Business Development Specialist at Vetter, joined me for a chat. So I understand that you've been in the stone industry now for 19 years, and it's your anniversary, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, could you tell us how you got into it? Well, I actually fell into the natural stone industry by chance. So I completed my university degree, gosh, back in 2002, that's making me sound really old. <laughs> And at that time, I'd made a decision that I wanted to continue to sort of improve my German language skills and also maybe see a bit of the world at yeah. the same time before settling down, as it were, into a career. So I took a job with the British Council um, as an English language assistant and I got posted out, very luckily, to be posted out to Vienna and Austria. Nice. So I spent two years working there and I was also able to see a little bit of Europe. And then, well, I returned to the UK and then I made the decision that I wanted to forge a career in business, particularly marketing, because that was my favourite subject at university along with German. So I applied for a role at Veta UK as a marketing and estimating assistant. And 19 years later, I'm still here through different roles. So, so what is the role you do now at Veta UK? Yeah, so my current role is in business development. So that entails working in the bid teams, working face to face with the clients, and also I lead the marketing and communications activities, in particular the VETA website, looking after the LinkedIn page. And that's obviously with the aim of, you know, raising our profile, managing our reputation and ultimately ensuring that we are the first choice of Stone Company for our clients. So obviously March the 8th is International Women's Day and I just wanted to ask you, you know, what have you seen the kind of, what are the major changes that have happened in terms of attitudes towards women in natural stone and in construction since you took on your first role? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I've seen a real visible change over the 19 years that I've been in the industry. If I was to give examples, I've probably got two which are at each end of the spectrum. One would be the change in the assumptions of what a woman's role is okay. and what a woman can do for the construction industry. And I think the other one, <laughs> a particular bugbear of mine, would be the welfare facilities provided, so female toilets. Yeah. So years ago, there were none. Well, not on every site, but in a lot of sites, there were no female toilets, which then meant that females working there, the odd female that there was, had to go off site and use local facilities and shops and cafes, etc., before returning to their job. So that's been a big difference. Yeah. It also brings me back to my first ever um, site visit, which, if my memory serves me correctly, was two weeks after I joined the company, and how outnumbered I felt and overwhelming it was that we were one of only a few women walking around this site. And then you look today and you see the difference, and it's like chalk and cheese, and it's, it's really encouraging to see, and hopefully that will obviously continue to grow as we go forward. And I think, as well, I'd say that I've seen... I think the industry is now seeing what women can do. You know, there's a lot of women out there who are highly skilled, motivated, and we can make a difference within the industry as well. And also probably fill the skill shortage that we've got, the yeah, skills gap. Yeah, that sounds really good. So, I mean, yes, there's definitely been a change. Are we perfect yet? Absolutely not, but I think we're heading in the right direction. But mm. what improvements do you think still need to be made? In terms of improvement, I think we need to continue to bang the drum to young females and females thinking about, other females thinking and joining the industry, that it's a credible career choice. And we also need to remove the myth that it's only a uh, male-only environment. I think we've made great strides, but I think also at the same time, we've still got a long way to go in that regard. I still often hear sort of slogans of, well, that's a job for the boys. And that kind of drives me to want more women into our industry. But in site-based roles, which is where we're lacking, so in the trades and technicians side of things, you're in terms of stone masonry, masons, fixers, labourers, but, you know, trades such as carpentry, plumbing, even the crane operators. And that, I think, would make um, a big difference and improve where we are at the minute. To me, there should be no barriers to women if they want to enter our industry. Welfare facilities have improved for both women and men over the years, but I still think we could do more in terms of female facilities. I was recently, as last week, looking on LinkedIn, and one of my connections through LinkedIn 
had gone to a site and she'd obviously gone to use the female toilets and it was the cleaning cupboard and there was a picture and she'd had to navigate cleaning mops and buckets and toilet rolls and cleaning products just to get in and again that's an improvement that we obviously still need to make and in terms of improvements that I've seen um, I think I've seen a change in the dated attitudes so yeah. I feel now that we've got a more inclusive culture where women and men I suppose feel sort of valued and included and they feel that they can forge a career and actually thrive and that's regardless of your gender, your sexual orientation, your race, your religion. So we're in a good place, we've still got a, a way to go. I also think education, this is something that I think yes, plays a big part one. because the perceptions that there's jobs for boys and jobs for girls is sort of inbuilt to us when we're, we're growing up in yeah. childhood. And I also think as well, going back to when I was at school, which I can still still remember, is careers advisors. I don't think they are, you know, putting a positive spin of a career in construction for a woman, which I think is quite bad. Yeah. I just think we as an industry just need to keep challenging the the status quo, really, the stereotype yeah. that it's all male orientated. We also need to remove the idea of the construction industry being a place for, you know, the muscles, for physicality. Um, I think we've got modern technology now, advancements in equipment and modern methods of construction, design, building information, modelling, that actually make our industry a lot safer and actually quite an exciting and inviting place to be and to work in. And what kind of initiatives do you work on um, at VETA UK that kind of embody that kind of concept? So... You might know that VETA UK are part of the wider Langerork construction group. So together we are aiming in 2020, 2033, sorry, to have a 50-50 gender balance. Now, it is an ambitious target. We're under no illusion that it's an ambitious target. But I think it's one that is achievable if we keep going in the way we're going. And I think it's quite an exciting, it is exciting to be part yeah. of the journey on that. So if I was to give you examples of what we're doing at the minute, well, or what we have done, at the top of Langerdorf sort of board level, we've got a uh, gender balance, women and men within the executive level, which is great. I think that brings a diversity of opinion and thought. Yeah. And it also acts as great role models for people like myself, but also not just within our business, with the wider industry as a whole. Um, what else have we got? We've got entry level, sort of, sort of the bottom up, as it were. We run a number of different programmes. And I think, I believe the graduate programme and these sort of summer in industrial placements have got a really good balance of male and females. What we are finding a little challenging, we are making good, great strides on, is the sort of trades and technicians that I spoke about earlier. Mm. You know, there are females in there, but obviously we want to get a lot more in. Mm. And I think lastly, we've got, we, we continue to develop and retain would be the other one. We've got a number of structured programmes particularly the mentoring circle, which is specifically for women, and that's a 12-month mentoring programme if women get that's on, good. Got so on that's, the course. That's quite a long amount of time for support, isn't it? it? Absolutely, yeah. which is fantastic. And we've also got a number of sort of committees within the wider Langerot group, D&I committees, and they're also quite a good safe space for discussing X, Y and Z, yeah. but equally of also helping Langerot when they come to developing processes and procedures, etc., Within VETA specifically, I think we're quite proud of the fact that 30% of our senior management team is female. I mean, we are now looking to grow as a business and we will bolster that from top down and bottom up as, as we go forward. So I understand that recently you took on the role of regional ambassador for women in natural stone. How did that did. come about and why did you decide to say yes to the role? So I uh, received a message from one of the co-chairs of Women in Natural Stone and then we had a, a good long phone call. And actually I was quite privileged mm. to be asked. So I'm the regional ambassador for the, the Manchester area. And I think I had a thought, think about it once I'd received the message and I thought you know I want to see if I can make a difference yeah you know shine a light in our industry and show females that it is a nice exciting place and good place to work um but yeah just see if we can grow the network and obviously drive the change that's needed you know I've been in the industry as we've said 19 years and I thought I might be able to offer something in terms of support guidance yeah, well, experience definitely. going forward I mean Windsor is still in its infancy at the end of the day and you know we've got a long way to go and to grow but I think after 19 years I'm not going to be here forever but whatever foundations we lay today 
you know, will lead the way for the generations of hopefully female stone and construction specialists in the future. So, yeah, that's why I decided to do it. What have you gained since the formation of WINS? Oh, a good question. I think selfishly for me personally, I've gained in confidence, I think. I think from meeting other inspirational women across the industry. And I also think it's it's kind of further motivated me after all these years to sort of strive for a bit more. And the best thing about it is I've obviously now got a much wider network of like-minded individuals and I've also made quite good friends through them being in WINS as well. Do you think that there's an opportunity for WINS to join with, say, like women in construction networks? Do you think there's a way to align? Yeah, in my opinion, I think we're one and the same thing. You know, we're striving for the same goal at the end of the day, which is to drive change and get gender equality throughout our industry. And I think if we were to come together or through an event, for example, we'll become a greater force for good going forward. And, you know, we'll be encouraging and supporting and hopefully inspiring the next generation of uh, females to join us. Do you think that there needs to be more done at kind of like school level, perhaps, to... Um get more women interested and engaged in the industry? Absolutely. I mean, as a Langerort company, we're always working or we try to work with the local schools near to our offices and to our projects. That's a big thing that we do. But I think we need to continue to do that. We continue to go in there and show these young females that, you know, we can obviously act as role models. If they can see us, then they know that they can be us yeah. in the future. And yeah, we just need to showcase the opportunities that are actually available, the modern technology that we're now using that's helped move the industry forward, I think. I think by going in as well and, and showing them that there are females in various positions in our organisations doing various jobs, you know, the opportunities are there in business development, in the trades, commercially, in site operations. If they want to do it, they can, and there is absolutely no barriers to it. Finally, if you could give just one piece of advice to a young woman looking mm -hmm. to enter the industry, what would that be? Yeah, I think I'd turn it back and ask, you know, what are you waiting for? The industry has much changed from when I started. It's an incredibly exciting place to be. We've got the modern technology and the modern methods of construction, which I personally believe are game changers to how we'll move forward in the future. And I think I'd say be brave, jump in and come and join us. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking thank to you for us having today. Me. It's clear that from speaking with Christine, the industry is moving in the right direction when it comes to equality and businesses are striving to welcome more women into the sector.